to my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated the Moss Deep Gym. If you guys remember, we took on the creepy set of twins who were actually very, very difficult to fight. And today it looks like something's going on here with Team Magma. And I'm, you know, I'm in that detective mode. I'm feeling it. It's what, like a Monday, Tuesday? I don't even know what day of the week it is. I'm getting confused. And hey, what's this guy? Roger, feeling good? I'm doing great. I heard Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to come take a look see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going on about a warning letter in the Space Center. I don't think it concerns me in any way, though. So they're saying something about the Space Center, and if I'm correct, the Space Center is going to be over here. Yeah, I think this is it. Moss Deep Space Center, the closest place to space. So let's go ahead and walk inside. And yes, it looks like Team Magma has took over this place. That's not good. You know, there's always difficult things. As you can see, this guy just gave us a uh, sunstone. I actually didn't know. Maybe all these people will give us something. Probably not, though. Not likely. I think today we're getting close to the point where both Team Magma and Team Aqua are going to fight. It's been a while since I played Emerald, but I think that's what that is. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a good day. My day's been all right. Kind of relaxing. Just uh, very slow, actually. Hasn't been anything too crazy today, but I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I'm actually going to skip probably as many Team Magma battles as possible because I know that we're going to have quite a bunch coming up. I think we have a lot of battles coming up today, and I'm going to try my best to just get through them. You know, it's just easier to get through them than do it. Sometimes you guys ask me, like, why do you skip battles? And it's just like, eh, it just takes too long. And honestly, like, I have my own ways of training which are pretty good, which I enjoy. And basically, my way of training is running in the grass, for those of you wondering. And honestly, I find it a lot easier to do that than sit here and battle a bunch of grunts, which have, like, Pokemon that can be annoying, especially, like, Zubats. Oh, I hate Zubats. Well, no, I don't mind Zubats. They're okay. I saw this comic strip. It was really cool. I, I think, I don't remember where I saw it. I saw it somewhere online. And it was, like, uh, about a trainer catching a Zubat. And, like, it basically was, like, Oh my gosh, like, I believe in my Zubat, blah, blah. And then at the end, the Zubat's like, From all the love my trainer showed me, like, I'm gonna prove to him that I'm worth something. And then the Zubat evolves into a Golbat and evolves into a Crobat or whatever. And I was just like, I feel you, man. I know what that's like, having no one believe in you. And then you prove them wrong, and you show them. You know, and I just thought it was kind of cool. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just, I just thought it was cool. Now, as you can see, we are some doing something here in this place i don't know why we're here in this place but i i think it's gonna lead to something big i think something big is coming in this game it's been a while i do know that we're gonna be catching a lot of legendaries very soon probably more than soon probably like next few episodes we'll probably begin catching some legendaries i suppose so i'm just kind of excited to see what's gonna lead up to that because i don't remember the storyline you know what i love i i saw this i saw a post somewhere and it was like, one, you know, one of the best memories are the first time you go through a game. Like, there's nothing you can experience as the first time you go through a game. Because you're playing through it, you have no idea what's going on, you don't know what's coming up. And it's just the most amazing feeling to discover things. And I think the one game that did that most for me, you know, wasn't just Pokemon, but also Zelda. And I think Zelda did it the biggest for me with Majora's Mask. Like, I had a lot of time to think about it. And I was like, you know what, what's the one game which has really, like, affected me, that has really, like, took me in and, and drove me into the story? And then after, I was just like, wow, I wish I could play that game again. And for me, it was Majora's Mask. You know, I think about all the times uh, I played it. I think about the first time I played it, which was in El Salvador. Uh, like, one of my cousins brought it by, and he was like, check this out. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's another Zelda game. There isn't just Ocarina of Time. Like, I didn't know that at the time. You know, I was I was just be beating Ocarina of Time for the first time. And I remember he was like, check this out. Like, it's, it's awesome. It's like a, the, the continuation to it. And I remember I see I saw the gold cra cartridge. It was the holographic one, like the limited edition ones. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like, what is this madness? What is Majora's Mask? And I remember he popped it in. And I, I probably just sat there in awe for like the longest time. And I fell in love with that game. You know, I remember just seeing clock town for the first time and and just i remember seeing this chest on, on top of if you know where clock town is like right in front of clock town there's um this like uh kind of like a little elevating platform and as you go uh, throughout the game like throughout the days it grows bigger and there's a chest like on the third day and i always thought for the longest time that like the golden hook shot was there 
and you don't even know how long I wanted that hook shot. I was like, oh my gosh, I want this hook shot. I think it'll be awesome. It was like a rupee, but still, you know, it's those little things you remember. And I think that's what happens when you play a game for the first time. It's just, it's just, you know, it's so great. It's so amazing. And I love the fact that as humans, we can have such a great experience to play through a story and, you know, like just get so into it that it's almost like we're personally going through that. You know, it's so great. I love that, that games do that. And, you know, it's something that I got from Zelda, something that I definitely got from Pokemon. The first time I played Pokemon Yellow, I remember popping it in. I had no idea what it was. Like, honestly, I had no idea what to expect. So when I first played that Pokemon Yellow, I don't think I'd even heard of the Pokemon games at that point. Uh, I never really played them, like blue or red or anything. Pokemon Yellow was my first Pokemon game. And I remember seeing it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like what is this madness? I feel like we're going to have a battle coming up though. So let me go ahead and switch out. Uh, I think I'm going to put Guitar up in front. I think that'll be for the best. And as I was saying, like I popped it in and I just remember loading up the game. And I very, very well remember the the screams from... Uh, from the Pikachu, the like the, the eh, you know, like the the high pitch, crappy 8-bit sounds. Rodri, you going to help me? Let's go into battle together. So it looks like we're gonna be teaming up with Steve in the battle. Uh, as I was saying, I just thought it was really cool. The first time I, oh wait, cancel the battle? No, no, no. What are we doing? Let, let's go into battle. Yeah, honestly, I, I think I'll be good with just. Nope, I can't go in with just Katara. Okay, Elsa or go confirm. Okay, so I was saying, I remember popping it in. And I just heard like the cries from Pikachu and I was like, what could this game be? This thing is a strange game. Like, what is this? And then, wait, what the heck? Why is Elsa up front? What? Oh, crap. Are you serious? Well, I messed up. Oh, that's fine. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't choose the right Pokemon. That's cool. Well, we'll send out Elsa. Mix it up a little bit. And then I popped in the game. I started playing it. And I just remember right away the music. Like the music of like Pallet Town. Uh, and it was just so cool. I was like, oh my gosh, it's just like the show. I can't believe it. And then I just remember like figuring out the Pokedex, getting the Pikachu, and I just playing through the game. And it was such a beautiful experience that to this day, I still have my Pokemon yellow cartridge. I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's in one of my boxes with like, you know, t toys I had as a kid and things like that. But it was just so nice that, you know, sometimes I can go back and I can still look at my team. I vaguely remember my strongest Pokemon. I think he was a Mewtwo. And I think he had like uh, the try attack uh, and a couple other moves like that, like try attack. Uh, I don't even remember. I, it was just really cool. Try attack and a bunch of other moves like psychic, uh, probably ice beam. I think he had ice beam and some other things. I had, if I remember correctly, like Pikachu, Mewtwo, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, and my Nido King, and that was my team. I actually posted a picture of it on Instagram because I found like my uh, black little like Pokemon book. I don't know if you guys had one. You can put stickers on there. And uh, it was the bomb. I miss that a lot. I think those were really good times as a kid. I think that's one of the cool things, like, you know, as you get older, you remember your times as a kid. And when you're a kid, you're like, man, I want to grow up. I want to be older so I can do older things. But once you get older, you're like, man, I want to be young. I want to be a kid again. I don't want to freaking grow up. And I think that's, it's just kind of weird how those things happen, you know. So it's just nice that there's games like that that can take you away. I just thought it'd be nice to talk about it because I've been kind of just... Trying to get into it again, trying to find something that like can take me out, you know, of reality, just kind of like knock me into a game for a while. And I really haven't found a game like that in a while. You know, a game that just really in immerses me in it. I think the last game that I actually found um, that was like that was on my PSP. Yeah, it's kind of weird. My PSP was a bomb. I used to play it a lot. Uh, I actually, that's probably like the one Sony thing I've played the most is like my PSP. And it was Legend of Heroes. It was this game. Uh, really beautiful game. It was really nice. It's basically like an RPG, kind of like Final Fantasy or something of that sort. And I remember playing that game. Um, I played it alone. I used to spend a lot of time alone. I think I played it in high school. And I would just sit in my room and I would play it. And the storyline was just beautiful. Like, uh, it was really nice. If you guys have a PSP or some way of doing it, I highly recommend Legend of Heroes. Um, I think it was the first one. Something about a sword. I beat, I think there's three games in the series, but I beat the first two. Um, just because how much I loved it. I thought like, well, this is really good. Like, I'm actually really liking these games. And I played through them, and they really immersed me in it. You know, they really just helped me through a tough time, I guess. Because I, I went through a tough time in high school. And that was just one of those games that kind of like, you know, took me, took me out of reality, which I really enjoyed. So it was just kind of nice. I'm kind of looking for those new games. So if you guys have any of those suggestions, just like a game that maybe touched your heart. You know, a game that maybe just you felt like, wow, like this game really changed me. 
Like, it really affected me. It, it made a difference in me. If you guys have one of those games, you know, think about it. I think we all have that one game that really changed us. It's strange to think, like, a video game can really change who we are. That a video game can come to affect us so much that we can connect so much to certain characters that are just on a screen. And... But it, you can, you know, that that's the generation we're in. We are affected by a story like that because we are connected to these people. So if you guys have one of those games, the one game that changed you, that affected you, let me know. I would really, really love to know what that one game was for you because maybe I'd love to play it, love to try it out. And I think it'd be a great experience if I got the chance to hear it from you guys too. You know, what games you're into and that sort of thing. Um, as you can see, we're taking a ton of damage. Oh crap, that is really dangerous. And I'm starting to get super nervous here, actually. I'm gonna send out Floor. And I think I'm gonna actually revive Goat because we just took a ton of damage. This battle is a lot tougher than I expected it to be. Let me go ahead and heal up Goat. Oh, this dude's got like three Pokemon left. He's also got an Aggron. That's fine. We'll be okay. Not even worrying. It's not a problem. So let's continue on then with this. And we'll see what we can do here. Huh, let's see. Oh, wow, that's going to take down the gold bat. Thank goodness the camera upped is probably what you should have attacked, Metang. But that's cool. I mean, I guess Steven doesn't know how to battle. I don't know where he learned to battle. I don't know what, why he's such a strong trainer then if he doesn't know that you're going to take out the dude that's going to be super effective on you. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm probably dead again. Fantastic. How about we take down the kit? Ooh, floor isn't going to be affected. Metang is down, though. Wow, Steven. You really outdid yourself today. You're really making some... Wow! That's fun! That's... <laughs> That's a good time! We're all taking damage, and he sends out the one Pokemon that is going to be affected. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'm going to go for the Sky Uppercut. I think oh, we're confused! Mother fudge! Okay, thank goodness, Floor. Thank goodness. You're not going to be like Goat missing every single Iron Tail imaginable, right? Freaking Floor. Freaking Goat. Goat literally missed... 10 iron tails in a row. I was reading the comments and some of you guys were like, I cannot believe that he just missed iron tail that many times. Welcome to my life. That is pretty much Pokemon from me for me. Sometimes I do really good. Sometimes it's uh, absolutely terrible and really, really hard for me to beat it. And that's, wow, we are going to go down. Oh, guess what time it is then, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be some Aggron on Aggron on Aggron on Aggron action. That's kind of cool. That that was planned out like that. I didn't plan that out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I should revive another Pokemon. Because I'm pretty sure if we die, we lose. But, uh, you know, can't tell you 100% I'm, I'm, if I'm correct about You solar beam the dude with 10 HP. Are you kidding me? Steven, you suck at battling. I thought I was bad. Dude, I thought I was bad at Pokemon. You freaking should have solar beam the Crobat. Ooh, does that protect me too? Or are you just protecting yourself? Ah, I don't even know, but I'm gonna wait till I rock throw, rock smash this crowbat all into the ground. Rock to it! Here we go, baby! That, that, yep, nothing. Alright, go. I believe in you. Let's prove to this Agron, also another Lady Agron, that we're better than it. And, uh, come on, go! Here we go! Alright, go actually stuck a move for once. Thank you. Uh, you know, well, I'll be here all week. Goat will be here all week. We actually did a little something. Floor grew some levels. I'm surprisingly surprised, very surprisingly surprised that we did that. We all gained some XP. We defeated Little Maxi and Admin Tabitha. You, you think they're going out? What's going on here? What's going on with you and Tabitha? All I want is just the one to expand the landmass. And with our leader, we got 51. To oh, I guess good for you, Tabitha. Good for you. We need help to make the volcano erupt. We filled the control ground after we had awoken it. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? If we think magma are wrong. Then might Team Aqua's goal expand the sea also be equally misguided? Alright, we will give up on the fuel. There have been more and more important matters that I must examine. Woo, that was too tense, Rodri. Thank you. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Please come see me at my home after this. Oh yes, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here on this island. So with that, guys, we have finished up what we need to do today. As you can see, our boy Steve-O told us that he's got a present for us. You never know what it could be. I think Steve-O's got a lot of cash, cash, money, money. Next time, we're going to continue from here. We're going to see what gift Steve-O gives us. And uh, I'm going to try to find my way to the Pokemon Center. I'm a little lightheaded. It's been a long day. Team Magma kind of ran me out of my juices. So I'm going to see if Nurse Joy wants to give me some juice. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.